Howdy y'all, I am Adam the Renaissance Nerd, and if I haven't said it to you already, happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody had a joyous, wonderful Thanksgiving yesterday, because it's a time to just sit down and be thankful for things. Now, personally, I'm not the biggest Thanksgiving guy, because I don't particularly like the menu. I make up my own menu with my family, usually a mixture of a little Asian, a little Italian. And they, they make their turkey, but I don't need it. I eat my big ziti, I eat my... Uh, Chinese spare ribs, make some roasted potatoes, good stuff. Mm. See, I'm doing it this weekend. I didn't have time this week. I'm celebrating this week. The point is, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving because there are things to be thankful for in all our lives, whether it be personal stuff or out here in the world of pop culture. Let us be thankful that our enemies are stupid. Yes, that is just what I want to say today. Be thankful. That those who wish to keep destroying the things we love, keep tarnishing them, are stupid. Because they're completely unself-aware. They do not understand that they are not only, well, they not only have completely alienated us, actual fans, who want to buy things and spread the love and joy of the franchises and IPs that we so cherish deep in our hearts. They've already lost us but they're losing the normies through their behavior and they don't realize they're pissing off next generation fans as well. Let's just do a quick little review right here in November alone, leading up to Thanksgiving, some stupid stuff that has been said that shows you how out to lunch all of them are from the people making this stuff, the people covering this stuff and the people trying to convince you that you need to be angry. What am I talking about? First, this one jumped on my radar today. Today. She-Hulk creator Jessica Gao is proud that her show She-Hulk has the title of horniest MCU show. Let's forget the fact. Oh no, well we won't forget the fact. She doesn't even realize it that you turned your main character into a super slut. Horny? Oh, we're trying to make a joke. No, you turned her into a slut. You shamed her as an actual strong woman. That's what really happened in Chill. But no, they're going to wave their banner, try to reality invert, maybe even gaslight, because it's kind of the same thing, reality inversion, gaslighting. Make you think that, oh, they're happy they did this. They're proud of this stuff. No, 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 no. You, you, you showed us what you really think, that you are a sad, lonely cat mom that really wants a man in your life. So you're going to pretend that this is your ideal woman who's running around, sleeping on second, third dates, thirsty, thirsty for that daredevil D. Oh, yeah. Unaware that their show has helped tank the MCU brand through its horrible writing and, dare I say, trolling of actual fans. So there's that. Jessica Gao, completely unaware that she is a loser and has helped destroy a brand. Be thankful, she's stupid. Next, this is my favorite from a few days ago. Four major Disney problems revealed by Bob Iger's CEO or two. Now, we learned last week that bobblehead Chapek was fired in the dead of night and the man who set the table for his failure, Bob Iger, returned. What should be the discussion? Oh, maybe we should re-engage fans. No, right here at Shill Rant, again, the people who are trying to tell you things are okay or tell you what to think. Four reasons. Reason number one, Bob Iger's secession is a massive problem with Dizzy. Oh, no. Okay, who? it, it doesn't matter. It's all, it, it doesn't matter who's in, if he's in, who's in charge after him. The roots, the cancerous roots are very deep. The whole thing is poisoned. Okay, but that's their first major problem. What's the next one? Disney needs to regain the trust of staff and creatives. What? What? Now, you could say, okay, you got to bring in some actual directors. Don't put the cookie cutter stuff in place so guys like maybe Quentin Tarantino, who are actual bona fide directors, want to come in and work with you. No? Okay, okay. But they need to regain the trust of staff and creatives. Just remember that word. Trust. Remember that. Going down a little bit more. Disney's brand has been damaged by a string of scandals. Let's actually read this one. Chapex missteps have been public, and they have done real damage to Disney brand. The Johansson lawsuit was a PR disaster. Everybody's forgot about that. 
occurring in the middle of the difficult transition period and his apparent ambivalence to the Florida bill. Oh, oh, uh, I see. Okay, there you go. Reality inversion. There, no, the scandal was not that he was ambivalent to it. It's that he bent the knee to the alphabet mafia and that he turned his back on family values that Disney was known for and telling parents to go screw yourselves and let your kids be indoctrinated by mafia propaganda. That's the actual scandal. Oh, ho, 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 ho. last one. Uh, future of streaming and theatrical question. Future of streaming, Disney Plus is a failure. It's a failure. That's what the actual problem is, that you invested all this time, money, destroying one franchise after another and dumping it onto Disney Plus. Now, you notice that's the end of it right there. Notice what they didn't say a problem was, what these shills don't understand. Earn the, regain the trust of staff creators. How about regain the trust of actual fans? Not addressed at all here. So you see, thank, be thankful that our enemies are this stupid. They don't understand that continuing to piss us off, actual fans, it's not the winning strategy. This one from a while ago, we covered this on the round table when we read the awesome, epic response by Yoshi P when a stupid IGN interviewer tried to corner him on racism, on representation and diversity in a Final Fantasy game. Yoshi P crushed it with class and clarity. But leave it to Kotaku, we need to start holding Japanese RPGs to a higher standard. Respecting Japanese video games means not treating them as kid gloves. How about we just care that it's a good game? We don't need your goddamn agenda. So once again, be thankful. Lord Jesus, I am thankful that my enemy is stupid. Be thankful that they don't get it. That gamers don't care about this shit. And that your brand, Kotaku's brand, is dying dead in the water. Be thankful. That idiots like Simulu exist to attack actual creatives like Martin Scorsese and Quentin Tarantino. Guys who know how to make movies. But no, I'm Simulu. I think I made $400 million in a movie. Not understanding that you barely broke even. That you made maybe $25 enough to buy your little stupid lunch one day. Be thankful that these talking heads, that these fake people, these pretenders, these professional pretenders are that stupid. And we can point and laugh at them and show that as many have said lately the age of the movie star is truly over these people are not to be respected not to be looked up to not to be idolized they are dumb and stupid and Simulu is a perfect mimbo and be thankful be thankful that they continue to call us all kinds of names that the failure of rings of power has not dawned on their diverse and representative cast. They don't understand that they are horrible actors and actresses, that they are promoting a stupid narrative and agenda, completely oblivious to the fact that they are part of the reason that everything they are promoting is why Rings of Power fail, because you did not respect the lore. You did not respect the fans. You did not respect J.R.R., the Professor Tolkien. Be thankful that our foes are truly this stupid because we are winning. We are winning. They are losing. The meltdowns are continuing. Elon opened the floodgates when he basically normalized Twitter to an extent. There's still a lot of room for growth, I'm told, but it's a work in progress. Be thankful our enemies are stupid and that we are smart and we have learned to adapt in this up and down crazy battlefield called pop culture, called the culture war, where people like myself and many other creators exist in enemy territory on YouTube, which is Google, which doesn't like the things we have to say, but we've learned to adapt where we thrive and succeed. Whereas these idiots do not understand because they are a hive mind, because they are NBCs, because they are programmed to say stuff because they are obsessed with virtue signaling, because they are obsessed with race, gender, sexuality. They don't understand that the real world is sick and tired of 
this garbage. Be thankful for dumb. And always, always step back while your enemy is lighting themselves on fire. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Check out the rest of my channel. I might believe you will like it. Well, I believe you might like it. You know what I'm saying. <sighs> because I'm here to earn your trust and support using facts and logic. Because facts and logic do not care about whiny standing SJW fees. Hit the notification button. Share my videos if you like what I'm preaching. And by all means, leave a comment. Love to hear from you guys. I care what actual fans have to say. I do not care what stands and SJWs have to say. Because 201, they are all cowards behind keyboards. And I can't wait for this future videos and future streams to trigger them. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therennerd at gmail.com. That emails for channel business only, so I check it on a daily basis. Also, you can find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can find me at Rumble and Odyssey, the Renaissance Nerd. Thank you again. See you next time.